It's measure, mark, and cut a toddler's spans, two to five years. So length is from the waist down to the ankle is, is 20 plus two for hemming allowance. His waist is 22 divided by four is where we are dividing is because we are cutting on fold. So it is 22 divided by four equal 5.5. Crotch equals 21, that is the hip measurement, divided by four equal 5.25. Knee equal 10 divided by two equal five. Ankle equal 12 divided by four equal three. So let's go and cut. Step. On about a meter of fabric, I am measuring my width. I'm using 24 divided by two, I get 12. And my length, 23. Next step, we are putting in our measurements on the fabric. So we start at the waist. So we measure one inch down and mark for the waist. Then for the crotch, we measure nine inches down. Oh, I got nine inches. I measure the child's full crotch measurement and divide it by two. For the knee, I measured from his waist to the knee and I got 15. So I mark it there. And for the ankle is the full length of the pants. And right here is for the hemming allowance, two inches for the hemming allowance. And I mark. I do work at the crotch first. So what I'm be doing, I'll be finding half of the crotch measurement. So I'm just going to use 12 for half the crotch measurement because he's growing and I'm going to mark it there. So after I mark it, I'm just going to use half of that measurement. So half of 12 would be six and I'm going to mark it on my fabric. So after I mark it on my fabric, I am going to mark six at the waist. I am going to mark six at the knee and I'm also going to mark six at the ankle. Go ahead and do that now. Next step is to connect the lines at all of the six markings. Then at the crotch where we had marked the 12, we are going to mark in two inches next step so at the waist we are going to measure our quarter inch quarter of the waist so that would be six remember i'm using six instead of use 5.5 so i'm using six so six plus two inches then from the two inch we are going to measure down one inch to get a slant waist mark next step so after i draw my line to create the slant at the waist right where i marked my two inches my extra two inches i made a curve if you have a curve ruler you can use it up i don't have one so i just use my hand or to wear my 12 so next step is for us to get the measurement for the ankle so remember the ankle is 12 divided by 4 equal 3 so we need 3 on either side of this line so we measure 3 this way then we measure 3 this way mark after we do that we're going to connect the lines so we're going to draw the line up to the crotch Okay, so after connecting the lines, your pattern should be looking something like this. Then we are going to cut right around this area here. We are going to cut. So
So after cutting, it should be looking something like this. This is the front. So what you are going to do next, you are going to place this on the fabric to cut our back pattern. Next step. So after putting my front piece on a piece of fabric, what I am doing is I am measuring two inches away from the ankle and mark then at the crotch i am measuring all three inches and mark then at the waist remember we are taking away one inch for the slant so we are adding by the one inch plus another inch so at the waist we are adding two inches and at the back here we are adding one inch so we are going ahead to join those lines so after connecting the lines it should be looking something like this so next thing we're going to do is to cut along the edges remove the and see so it's supposed to be looking something like that we're going to cut along the edges